So, you want to hear another boring history story? If not, too bad. I'm telling you anyways. After Napoleon's defeat, various leaders met to reorganize Europe. Those leaders being... Alexander I, representing Russia. King Frederick William II, representing Prussia. Lord Castlereagh, a foreign minister of England. Prince Clemens von Metternich, representing Austria. And Charles Marie de Talleyrand, of the French delegate. Now, this Metternich guy presided over the Congress. He was guided by two principles, the first one being legitimacy, which is the restoring of power to the royal family, and balance of power, which is the act of setting up political boundaries so no one country dominates Europe. The second principle, balance of power, did a deal of great things. First of all, it reduced France to its 1790s for tears, and even strengthened countries that bordered it. The next topic I'd like to talk about is the Concert of Europe, also the Vienna System of International Relations, which is also known as the Congress System after the Congress of Vienna was the balance of powers that existed in Europe from the end of the Napoleonic Wars, 1815, to the outbreak of World War I, 1914. For 30 years, Metternich dominated European politics. Eventually, Metternich put into place the Metternich system. So original! The Metternich system worked very hard to keep the status quo. Now, that's not to say that there weren't any challenges to the status quo. Students sprang up for liberal reforms. In 1819, Menardich passed the Carlsbad Decree, which invoked press censorship and even suppressed their freedom of speech. In 1821, the Austrian army marched into Naples to re-establish monarchy. In 1873, the French army helped Spain to suppress liberals. And we end our story in Latin America, 1820, when the citizens successfully revolted. Well... I hope you enjoyed my project, and, well...